What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here and if you can't tell, I just woke up, which means a couple of things. One, my hair is probably going to look a fucking mess, so give me a pass for that, alright? Two, I wake up in the morning, look at my phone, and the first thing that I notice is that there's apparently some new Pokemon news on the motherfucking market, so I said to myself, why the hell not do a first time reaction? I just got out of bed, just turned on my goddamn computer, as you can see, I just loaded that bitch up. I have Overwatch usually popping up on my main screen as soon as I turn my PC on, so that's sort of, I guess, a little bit of an indication that I just woke up. Either way, I am ready to get into this. I hope my mic is working. In fact, let me make sure it's working. I'm gonna stop. One reaction later. Oh my fucking god, nigga. I just had a fucking orgasm on camera. I messed up, dudes. I, I watched the video for the first time and I lost it, dude. The fucking reveals were back to back. Back to back. Five straight minutes of nothing but bangers by Pokemon Company and Nintendo. But I forgot to hit record on my second session, so all the footage of my first time reaction is gone. Sorry about that, guys. But I mean, I figured let's just watch do it again. Oh my god, my heart is beating like fucking mad right now. The reveals were insane. I wish I could I wish I knew I wasn't recording. That way I could have stopped it in the middle, maybe, but oh well. Let's watch this shit again, dog. I can't get enough. The reveals. Oh my god. The first reveal was insane, dog. Jesus Christ. Executor. And when he hits the streets, he becomes this. This nigga's trying to get top out here. Grass dragon, though? I didn't notice that at first. He's a dragon type now? I saw all this before, guys. Sorry. But I mean. And then the fucking. What is the Alola film thing? How does Vulpix become ice, nigga? Ice? And then when it evolves, it becomes. But wait, what? So when Vulpix is in Alola, it turns into a new typing? A new form entirely? Although Ninetales was good as fuck. I've been trying to find one of those in Pokemon Go, man. But these reviews were endless, dog. And then they turn into an ice deal? I mean, I said in the beginning, Mach Punch is gonna crack that thing in fucking half. But it's still amazing to see that they're changing them. And what, do they keep all their moves as well, too? And they can learn new moves? They have a new, new move pool on top of their old one? So insane. New typings right there. Fucking Dairy Ice, Ice Steel, I'm liking it, it's solid, and then we have a new Pokemon called Oricorio, Oricorio, and it's got different forms, so it's kind of like the fur fro of Sun and Moon, shit is crazy, look at this thing man, I love how dance is being integrated into this, obviously because, you know, Hawaiian culture, but I mean still, Oricoro, Oricoro, such a fucking cool ass Pokemon, and then the dance matches the type, and one of them is a ghost? So straight up ghost, straight up electric, straight up. I can't see the other ones. And then this one, copying moves that dance. So dragon dance, that's one of them. Quiver dance, that's another one. What other dances are there? Fiery dance? I mean, if it copies your dance moves, then that means offensive or stat boosting. It doesn't matter. And then this thing, Minior? I don't understand the concept behind this Pokemon, dog. Rock and flying type. First time you've ever seen a typing like this, man. The Pokemon is hitting us in the head right now. These niggas don't give a fuck. Matsuda is out here trying to fuck niggas up right now. And then shields down. What does that do? I don't know what it does, man. Maybe something with their typing. And then Young Goose turns into Donald Trump! He turns into the Trump! Look at this shit! Gumshoes? Gumshoes? I didn't even realize his name before. Fucking Phoenix right now? He looks like Trump! He looks like him! Nintendo did that intentionally. I know you did, Nintendo. Don't you give me that bullshit. You made him look like Donald Trump. Donald Trump's gonna win, dog. I ain't gonna vote for him, but he's gonna win. Formantis and then Lurantis. Such a cool looking Pokemon. Pinstripe pants in this bitch? I'll take it. It's like a praying mantis, but you know, pretty. And Solar Blade! Pokemon has let us know we are a fighting show now. We are fighting anime right now. We've always had been, but now we're better than Naruto, my nigga. You saw that fucking Greninja versus, um, Greninja versus, uh, Septile fight? Mudbray. So, pretty cute pre Evo. I knew that Mudsdale had, Mudsdale had to be, like, a evolved Pokemon. And then, riding Pokemon. This is something that we've seen before, but not to this extent. You can ride a Sharpedo! Mega Sharpedo, even! Or is that a regular Sharpedo? And then you can pick up a ride on Charizard, too? And then you have the Kahuna on the island. So here's the thing, right? I had a theory, well, I'm sure other people had this theory too, 
gym leaders are replaced, and we have the trial champ captains. So we have Mallow, she's a cutie patootie, so that's a plus. My man Lana, looking like a cool ass nigga right there. I like the hairstyle on that boy. And then we have Softglees. Softglees? I hope I said his name correctly. But they all look really interesting. And then my favorite is Kiawi. Kiawi looks like a nigga from Brownsville right now, dog. I swear to God, he, like, he just came out the hood, man. He's like Bobby Schmurder with a fucking crazy hairdo. My man Gumshoes, though. Totem Gumshoes, excuse me. It looks so much like Trump, though. They did this shit intentionally, knowing full damn well where the hell it was gonna go. I can't believe the fucking Pokemon company really went there, dog. But look at this. We're only, what? So many reveals. The big kahuna on the island, so gym leaders are done now. Apparently, I guess. And now we have a totally new system? If this is a new system and they don't do the gym leader method anymore, then this is a Pokemon first. And then now you can dab to attack niggas. You can hit him with one of these and hit him with one of those big ass moves. Full four Z power. Gigawatt something. Gigawatt havoc. And I'm wondering, for competitive play, will this be able to be used online? And if it is, can it can only be used once per Pokemon or once per battle. Or once per battle, okay, never mind. They say it right there. Everyone's dancing. You can milliwatt to hit a nigga with a fucking dick breaker move. Boom, doom? Oh my god. Oh my lord. Everyone's getting blasted out here. <laughs> We've seen these guys dancing before, but I didn't know it was for this. Look at these moves, dog. Huh? This is my favorite one right here. Poplio hits him with the Hydro Vortex. That's it. Brings your ass underwater and hits you with Core and Spinal Smash. Nigga, I love it. Sunny Moon is coming through hard. Vani, my boy. This is fucking insane. I watch, That's my second time watching it and I'm still hyped. Do you see the sweat coming off my forehead right now? Do you see the sweat, my boy? Yo, Sunny Moon. These niggas ain't playing around, though. They changing the formula on boys. And then on top of it all, they have so many new mechanics coming through. So many things to talk about within that trailer, man. I Guys, this is a fucking, this was a fucking two-hour special in my mind. I feel like the first time I watched that video, I had at least 20 orgasms, dog. At least! So many things, though. The Alola forms, that brings a whole new world of expectations. And then on top of it all, I wonder if they're going to keep Mega Evolutions with it. And then... The, the, whole, the, whole, the whole Kahuna system, no gym leaders anymore. I'm just loving the fact that they're actually changing that. They're shifting it, and then plus it's, it's revolutionizing, or rather it's revolving around Hawaiian culture. So I love the, the artistic touch and the flavor that's thrown in there. You know, the, 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 the dancing and just the general theme of the game is already way up my alley. I've always had a thing for Hawaiian culture, man. I, I just have, you know, like it, it's so cool. They're so laid back from what it seems. I don't actually know it kind of like me saying I love Japanese culture. I don't actually know what it's like to be part of it, but it, it looks admirable from the outside. And plus, the girls are cute as hell, too. I mean, who doesn't like a little tan, brown skin cutie? You know what I mean? I mean, in Pokemon Gen 3, one of my favorite fucking Elite Four members was... Uh, what was her name? I can't remember her name. But y'all know who I'm talking about. The Hawaiian girl. The cutie patootie with the, with, the, with the flowers. That was one of my favorite girls in Gen 3. That was back when I was in, like, what? I was in, like, the fucking 8th grade. But, yo... Tell me that shit wasn't the most insane reveal for Sun and Moon yet. So many Pokemon shown to us, forms given, um, systems that are revealed, big nigga moves that are brought out, and then they're gonna change things up with the old Pokemon and not just the Mega Evolution way. Oh my lord. Sandshrew got a fucking makeover though. I think, I think he's still gonna be underused, I suppose. I mean, Ice and Steel, good lord. But hey. And then fire's gonna fuck him up too. Oh man, fire and fighting. Yeah, it's over, dog. I don't think you can see in any use, but it's interesting regardless, man. Oh man, and then well, well stealth rock will be neutral. But Damn though, Vulpix being ice and fairy now? And what's the deal with Executor, man? What is he trying to do with that neck? What is he trying to do with that neck? And he's a dragon now? Fuck me, man. So does he stay like that? Does that mean any executor that's in Alola is gonna look like that? Or has the ability to evolve into that? Because if that's the case, then this brings in so much crazy potential. So is the island gonna be covered with executor like this? It's, it's clearly meant to look like some of the foliage from around the area, right? Obviously, it's a fucking palm tree. So he's really gonna be the Pokemon that you see all over the place. Most likely, man. 
I'm loving the idea. The concept is goddamn sick. Me, I mean, excuse me, I said Miyamoto. Oh my god, <laughs> fucking Matsuda is going in right now, bro. Anyways, guys, I, I, I'm done. I, I've been losing it too much, man. I did this video twice by now. I will talk to you guys in the next one. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. I want to see what your favorite hype part about this trailer is. If you ask me, my boy, if you ask me, I got to tell you, quite honestly, I'm loving the brand new forms. The first thing that was shown to us, and it was the eye catcher. And then, of course, I love gumshoes. The fucking Trump Pokemon. That nigga turns into a fucking politician on evolution. Young Goose is in Young No More. That's, a, that's fucking Trump Goose right there. That's what I'm naming my nigga. I'm naming him Trump Goose. I don't give a fuck. I'll talk to you guys later on. Peace out.